Hey guys, it's me. This is McNicholas. I apologize for being late today. I'm having all kinds of technical difficulties because I'm using this new uh, Screencastify, Screencast, something like that, Screencastify, so that you guys can see the screen. And oh my goodness, there are two of her. No, there's not. That's a screen showing yesterday's. It's opposite. No, no, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. Showing yesterday's video um, because I want to talk about it because it's been pretty successful. Okay, so yesterday's video, as you can see from this count, that's about an hour ago, has 129 views, which is great because we've had a partic pretty decent participation rate so far in that we have 24 responses to the assignment. Um, don't panic if you didn't submit it yet. It's not due until tomorrow, but I am going to talk about it today because I see a couple of things that I want to point out and that I want you to avoid doing. One of them we already spoke about. One of them I didn't think I had to talk about it, but we're going to talk about it. All right. So that said, <laughs> let's go over our agenda for today. Agenda. Welcome back. And video results. We just did that. Two, going over responses. Three, how to use the Google. We're going to talk specifically about features in the drive that will help keep you organized. And then dun, 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 we're going to have a story time. It's an oldie but a goodie, and it's a clue as to what's coming. All right? So let's move on. Let me look at my list. Okay, welcome back. Showed you the agenda sign. Okay, let's talk about how to get into the class if you're struggling. If you are struggling, now this is my private account. You can see up here in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, there's this little plus sign up there. If you click it, a dialogue window will open and you will choose join class. And then when that dialogue window opens up, you will choose, oh, there it is, look at this, to enter the code. And the code is three, lowercase b, lowercase i, lowercase y, lowercase v, lowercase g, lowercase k to enter the inner sanctum of the Science 6 Google Classroom. Now, if you're struggling or it's telling you you can't join or the code is not valid, it's most likely because you are not logging in with your district credentials. You must use your district credentials to line in. I did put this in the video description yesterday in the day one video, so please read the directions, okay? Here we go. So it's your student ID number at albany.k12.ny.us. That is the only way you'll be able to access this specific classroom um, because it's all kind of monitored and handled by the district, okay? So it's a closed system because we can't have all kinds of strangers hanging out in our Google Classroom space, right? Okay, let's go over some of the answers that I've been getting from some of you. So I have opened up the editing on the questions themselves because some of you have submitted some answers that I'd really like to see you go back and change uh, because either it shows me that you really kind of weren't trying or that it's, um, yeah not your work. Hard to believe, I know. First, let's talk about the dreaded, I do not know. I don't know. What you mean? IDK. I explained to you yesterday that I really didn't want to see this as an answer. I've said this to you guys multiple times. I went in to kind of double check and see what was going on. And when I opened my response grid, I saw this. Okay, let's talk. You claim not to know, but it this was actually, this one response was on the wave speed question, and that's not you not knowing, okay? You could have looked up how to do it. You could have looked at the hint embedded in the question. Um, we've done this multiple times, so I'm gonna go over it today, but the edits are open, and I'd like to see you go in and change it because you claim not to know, but I know. I know who you are, okay? so. We want to try in the name of everything sacred and powerful, please at least try, 
Okay, so I will go over that. So that's the number one thing I would like to see people go back and fix um, if they have done such a thing. The second thing is this. The very first question asks you about, it's about a vacuum, right? It says something like a vacuum is an empty space. Um, how do you know you're not standing in a vacuum, right? Some, something to that effect. And I got this very philosophical and in-depth answer vacuum is in fact not empty. This means that the vacuum is subject to fluctuations in the fields permeating it. In essence, particles pop into existence more or less randomly as a result of excitations in these fields, making a vacuum a boiling sea. The fluctuations are related to the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Huh? What do you even mean? Okay, I had to look up the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Fix your answer. I want the answer to be yours. I want it to be, you know, on grade level, unless you'd like to call and chat with me about Heisenberg uncertainty principle that I had to look up um, and say something so remarkable that it makes me think that you actually knew what this was before I asked you the question. Um, until then, it's not your work. Uh, all of them, all of this person's answers are like this. So yeah, I can cut and paste questions into Google and then cut and paste answers into the Google form. Um, and it's resourceful, but it's not content area learning. And my job is to teach you content, teach you the stuff, the sciencey stuff. So please, I'm asking you nicely, go back and fix the edit, IDK and stuff like this, same grade. Um, okay, let's move on. Uh, that said, let's talk about the questions themselves. I'm going to go over a little bit of review. Hang in there, guys. Story time is coming, okay? So let's take a look at the questions. <clears throat> First question, easy. A vacuum is completely empty. Why is the space around you not considered a vacuum? If you're not sure what completely empty is, look it up. Remember what I told you. N in space, no one can hear you scream. There's no pew, pew. Right? There's no exploding. I mean, the Death Star could explode. You just won't hear it. Okay, so please use that knowledge. Think about where you're standing right now and answer the question in your own words. On page seven, there is a question where the answer can be found in the text. I went over this yesterday with you a little bit. I took a picture of the page and embedded it in the question so that you could decipher the response. Okay, so if you left your book home, please don't tell me you left your book home as an answer. Read the page that I put there for you and put the answer in. Um, question 11, uh, page 11's questions required both some evidence from the book and you to actually know something and you've experienced a lot of this already, right? We know a lot about waves. We know all waves have a peak and a trough and an amplitude and a wavelength, right? We know all about um, frequency and period and wave speed. You don't have that information in front of you, but you can look that information up. Okay, so first, how can you measure a longitudinal wave? I put a photograph of a person with a slinky because you know that a longitudinal wave is a wave where the disturbance is parallel, right? The energy from the disturbance is parallel to the direction that the wave energy is traveling in. Whereas to create a wavy wave or a longitudinal wave, the energy is perpendicular to the direction that the energy is traveling in in the wave, okay? So you know this, you played with these slinkies, you have an idea. We talked, so basically all you have to figure out is what are the peaks and troughs, and we did do that as well. You can look that up and then figure out what the wavelength is based on the fact that a wavelength is the distance from a point on a wave cycle to the exact same point on the very next cycle. Remember the Deadpool activity. Let's talk about the wave speed question. This is the I don't know question, right? The IDK question. We know that wave speed or frequency in hertz is the relationship between cycles per second, cycles per second, cycles per second or hertz. That's frequency. I also know that this wave has a wavelength of eight meters long. That means one single cycle is eight meters long. That means the distance across one single cycle of this wave is eight meters. And that meters is a distance. 
Now I know that four cycles go by a fixed point in one second. Four cycles go by in one second, and that each one of those four cycles is eight meters long. And I know that speed is the relationship between distance and time, meters per second. Four cycles per second, eight meters per cycle. How many meters per second? To you, I'm going backwards, but I'm going left to right. Um, okay, so try again. Get in there. Go get them. Uh, yeah, and this is due tomorrow. Let's talk about making a folder. Hang on, one more thing and then it's story time, okay? To make a folder in the Google Drive, please go to your classes, right? Now that little plus sign that you use to add a class, right next to it, this little box of dots, box of dots. If you highlight it, it says Google Apps. If you click it, you will get a drop down menu of all the things that you've been given access to through your school account. And one of those things is your drive. It's this triangle thingy. You will click your drive. It will open a drive window. You will go to the upper left-hand corner of your screen and click new. When you click new, it'll give you a choice. What new thing do you want? You want a new folder. You don't want to upload an old folder. You want to make a new folder. As soon as you click that, or several seconds after you click that, or did your screen freeze? There you go. You'll get a dialog window that says new folder, and it'll ask you to give it a name. Call it waves. Okay. That's all you got to do and hit create. It will create the folder. It'll show you where it is. Now I've got a lot of stuff. You might not have a lot of stuff. You also may be looking at your drive like this in a grid and that's fine too, but it will create your folder for you. Mine's in order and there's your folder and it'll be empty because you haven't done anything in it yet but you can put your Google form submission. You may have a copy of that in your folder. Um, you can kind of click it and drag it and you can do it this way. You can uh, find it on the side and you can kind of click something and drag it over like this and just drop it in a folder and it'll drop it there. So I want you to organize all your science work for waves in one place. So if I tell you, you've got to go back and find it, you can find it because we're going to be doing notes. I'm going to put them on docs. You'll copy the document into your own folder and there'll be like blank spaces in it to fill out. At least in a perfect world, if I can get this straight, that's what we'll be doing. All right. So that's enough of that. It's what you've all been waiting for, right? We are going to have story time, okay? Now, take a deep breath and wind down. All you have to do is listen. Something is coming. A scientific concept is coming next week, and I want to get you ready with a motivational story about sounds. <clears throat> if you have little ones at home, feel free to ask them to join us now. Our story today is Mr. Brown can moo. Can you? I'm really good at this. Settle in. Pause and get a snack if you have to. Mr. Brown can moo. Can you? By Dr. Seuss. A book of wonderful noises. Not these kinds. Oh, the wonderful things Mr. Brown can do. He can go like a cow. He can go moo, moo. Mr. Brown can do it. How about you? He can go like a bee. Mr. Brown can buzz. How about you? Can you go buzz, buzz? He can go like a cork. He can go like horse feet. Clop, clop, clop. He can go eek, eek, like a squeaky shoe. He can go like a rooster. cock a doodle do. He can go like an owl. Hoo, 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 hoo. Eek, 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 eek. cock a doodle do. Hoo, 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 hoo. How about you? He can go like the rain. Dibble, 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 dop. 
dibble, 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 dop, dop, dop. He can go like a train. Choo, 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 choo. Oh, the wonderful things Mr. Brown can do. Moo, moo, buzz, buzz, pop, pop. That stunk. Eek, eek, hoo, hoo, clop, clop, clop. Dibble, dibble, dop, dop, and cock a doodle doo. Mr. Brown can do it. How about you? Mr. Brown can whisper, whisper, very soft and very high, like the soft, soft whisper of a butterfly. Maybe you can too. I think you ought to try. Seriously, I think you ought to try. He can go like a horn, blurp, blurp. Blurp, blurp, and like a big cat drinking. He can go like a clock. He can tick and he can talk. He can go like a hand on a door. Knock, knock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, the wonderful things Mr. Brown can do. Blurp, blurp, cock a doodle doo. Knock, 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 and who? He can even sizzle, sizzle. He can do that too, like an egg in a frying pan. How about you? Mr. Brown is smart, as smart as they come. He can do a hippopotamus chewing gum. Grum, 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 grum. Mr. Brown is so smart, he can even do this. He can even make a noise like a goldfish kiss. Boom, 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 boom. Mr. Brown is a wonder. Boom, 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 boom. Mr. Brown makes thunder. He can, he makes lightning splat, splat, splat. And it's very, very hard to make a noise like that. Oh, the wonderful things Mr. Brown can do. Moo, moo, buzz, buzz, pop, pop, pop. Hoo, hoo, and clop, clop, clop. Dibble, dibble, dop, dop, and cock a doodle doo. Boom, boom, splat, splat, and tick, tick, tock. Sizzle, sizzle, blurp, blurp, and knock, knock, knock. A and a whisper, and a fish kiss, too. Mr. Brown can do it. How about you? You can clap for me now. Thank you, Shane. I missed one. I'm so sorry. You'll have to practice that one at home. All right, guys. You know what you got to do. It's due tomorrow. Have a great day, and hopefully I'll have my tech under control, and tomorrow I will have the video up by 11.